Purve Gaur Chanda Radhika Tadam Krishna Krishna Bhaktai Tata Bhaktai Namo Kande Guru Nisabhaktam Yasavatarakam Tat Prakasham Chattachati Krishna Chaitanya Samhita Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama First of all, I have to pronounce to our Gurudev, Omishnupan, to the Disani, Sibhakti, Vedan, Narayan, Gosai, Maharaj. Our Rupanuga Guru Parampara, all devotees. So, our Parampara, oh, so, one receives knowledge through parampara. The disciplic succession. Sampradaya vihina mantras tu nishvalamari. Si ruda sanak vaishnava So, any knowledge outside of this disciplic succession is considered useless. Lord Shiva spoke that. So, especially our Sampradaya is called the Rupanuga Guru Parampara. Why? 500, like 500 years ago, appeared a very, very great devotee named Rupa Goswami. So, we are all following his instructions. So tonight we'll little speak about Rupa Shiksha. What's her name? Oh. <laughs> You've heard of Rupa Goswami, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, 500 years ago, Krishna appeared in the form of his own devotee. Krishna appeared to taste devotion. Is that so astonishing? Of course not. Devotion is so nice. Sometimes even Krishna wants to practice that. He wants to taste that. So Krishna is the original spiritual master. He is the spiritual master of the whole world. Why? Because it is Krishna himself who spoke the Vedic knowledge in the beginning of creation. So 500 years ago he came again. And he gave very valuable instructions to Rupa Goswami. So those instructions for all of us also. So tonight we'll quickly hear a little bit about it. We should tell a little bit about Rupa Goswami's life. So he appeared in what is now called Bangladesh. And he met the Lord at Priyag. So there, okay. he came with his brother Anupam. So, he, Krishna, Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained to Rupa Goswami the science of devotion. For 10 days. So, these instructions called Rupa Shiksha. So, Prabhu Kohe Suna Rupa Bhakti Rase Lakshan Sutta Rupa Kohe Vista Naye Vanan. Parapara Sunyagambir Bhakti Rasa Sindhu Tamaya Chakite Ta Kohi Akadindu. O Rupa, please listen. 
Devotion is like a huge ocean. So I'm describing to you one drop of that. So, E Brahmanda Bodhi Ananta Jiva Gan Chaurasi Laks Yoniti Kore Brahman. This universe is called Brahmanda. Okay. So there are countless souls in this universe. We spoke about this on the first night. Eight million four hundred thousand different species. So the soul is going from one body to another body. Sita, how many times have you been a microbe? Still are microbes. <laughs> how many times microbe? Chervikov. Chervikami. So many species we've been through. Nine hundred thousand type of aquatics. Two million type of plants. One million one hundred thousand type of insect. Reptile. Reptile. Snake. Python. One million type of bird. So, 300,000 type of four-legged animals. Three million type of four-legged animals. How many different types of cows? Goats. Even dogs. Right? Hundreds of different species of dogs. Cats. And human beings. Why are you moving without permission? Huh? I said that last night. I know you're lying. So, soul is going from one body to another. How many species of life, Smogla? How many? I just told you. Eight million four hundred thousand. So the soul is very small. If you take one hair and you make the end of the hair to a hundred pieces. Then you take one of those pieces and make a hundred again. That is the size of the soul. So how big is it? Smaller than So tiny. Therefore soul is astonishing. The soul and the body of the elephant, same size as the soul and the body of the microbe. So this soul is called chitka, spiritual part. Chitka. He is not material at all. He is not slain when the body is slain. Killed. He is not born when the body is born. Okay. He is eternal. Krishna says in Gita, Sukshmanam api aham jiva Of subtle things I am the jiva. Do you know that, Sumangala? Well, now you know. At the end of the class, I'm going to ask you what you learned. 
Okay, what are you going to say? Krishna says, of subtle things I am the jiva. Among small things I am the soul. So, that soul not belongs to any body. But he is the active principle in all bodies. So he is eternal. He has no beginning, no end. Okay, even though he stays in the body, he's not part of the body. Okay, that is the real self. So in Sanskrit, jiva is, soul is called jiva. Jiva means life. Sumango, why are you alive? That's right. You are the jiva. You cannot say in my body is the jiva. So I am the jiva within the body. Say it. Correct. Okay. So when the soul enters the body, that is called birth. When the soul leaves the body, that is called death. So the soul's almost innumerable. Even in the air, Sumango, so many microbes are there, right? In your coat, how many microbes? In your shapka, how many? No one can count. So souls called for that reason, soul is almost like all pervading. So, but still they are very small. So even though they are spiritual, because they are so small, they can become controlled by illusion. So the soul is not independent. No, because he is very small. If the soul is not an independent enjoyer or controller. So there is also a difference between the supreme soul and the individual soul. So the souls, for that reason, two divisions. Two type of bodies. Okay. Those that can move and those that can not move. Okay, so Mongo, give me an example of a living entity that moves. Barka, crab, right? <laughs> Some animals, so animals, humans, crabs, <laughs> even medusas, <coughs> they move. <coughs> but some like plants, <coughs> and your mother do not move. <laughs> So two type of two, two divisions of living entities. Moving, non-moving. So Tarmat Manusa Jati Ati Alpata Tarmat Melech Pulin Boda Sava. So amongst the moving living entities, actually human being is very few. No, and many, many different types of human beings also. Tarmadi Malech Pulin Boda Saba. No, like there's the meat eating tribes. Mahaprabhu give example. Pulin them who live in the jungles. Buddhists. Also 
considered separate species of humans. And hunters. <laughs> These are all different species. In Africa, how many different species of humans? Even they change from South Africa, you go up, they become more black. Then you go up again, north again, they become like more pale skin. Even in Africa, how many tribes, how many different like groups of people? Then that changed. The north is the Muslims. Also different, different physique, different mentality. Then you come to Europe. English. It's another species. Ukraine. Ruskies. So even all you go, even you go across Russia, how many different type of humans? As you go more to Siberia, then they look more and more like Chinese, like that. And China, how many different types? So many, many different types of humans. Most are uncultured. All Russians thinking, but we are the no, culture does not mean wear a suit and tie. Actually, people are wearing a suit and tie, but they're very uncivilized. Eating dead animals is not civilized. Drinking so much. One woman to another woman to another. So most are uncivilized. Okay. They're like animals, but no horn and no tail. Sumangala, are you civilized or uncivilized? Hurry up, boy, I answer for you. Anyway, so many, many different types of human beings also. So, Ved Nishta Madhi Adek Ved Mukmani Ved Nishit Pap Kori Dharma Nahigani. So, those who follow Veda, those who follow this Vedic culture, they are considered civilized. Actually, Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, one who believes in God, but not believe in Veda, still he is called atheist. So civilized means not just by body, but also by mind. Mahashakti, all your friends are barbarians. Is it true? Yes, it is. <laughs> so, among human beings, those who follow the principles of Veda are very few. They are considered civilized. Do you believe in the Veda, Sumangala? Okay, so you are considered civilized human beings. So, amongst you follow Veda, that is very few. Even in India, how many not following anything? 20% Muslim, Christian, 2% something. So even who say, we follow Veda, we follow Vedic culture, Mahaprabhu said they follow by mouth, but actually don't do anything. No. Amongst them, half only say by mouth, I follow Veda, but actually doing all type of bad activities. Actually, in South India, 
like Tamil Nadu, like this. Orissa. One percent of the population is vegetarian. One point five percent in Bengal, Orissa. But North India, like seventy percent, seventy-five percent. Right. So Mahapur said, those who say I follow Veda but actually not, half they are just cheating. This morning we heard that from the Yamadutas. Dharma to Shakshat Bhagavan Pinata. Religious principles come directly from the Supreme Lord Narayan. Who accept that? He is real Veda Nishta. He follow the Vedas. So Dharma Chari Madhya Bahut Karma Nishta Koti Karma Nishta Madhi Eke Jani Shrestha. So amongst those very few people who follow religious principles, most are called Karma Nishta. Karmanisha means they have material desires. Even they perform some religious activities, still their goal is material enjoyment. I will do some religious activity, I will enjoy material happiness in this life. And next life I'll go to the celestial heaven as well. No, so most are following fruitive activity. So out of many such karma nishtas, there may be one actually learned person. Koti Gyana Madhya Hoi Ek Jan Mukta Koti Mukta Madhya Durlaba Ek So amongst those who actually have knowledge means they are liberated from the bodily platform of life. They know I am not this body. I am the soul. So soul have no material enjoyment. Because soul is not material. So koti jnana madhi hoy. So amongst so many of persons who have knowledge, who are jnanis. Ek jan mukt. There may be one person who is actually liberated. So ek koti mad ek mukta madhi durlaba. Eka Krishna Bhakta. And out of many liberated souls, it may be very hard to find even one devotee of Krishna. Right? Just look in Kemarova. Population? 700,000. How many are civilized? How many vegetarians? How many are actually doing something? How many free from bad activities? There's very few. Right? How many in the room? Two, four, six, eight, thirty. So seven hundred thousand live in Kemerova. And how many are here? So you can see this practical proof of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the vision of the living entities. Out of many millions of liberated souls, out of millions of wise persons who have knowledge, to find one who is actually liberated is very rare. And out of many liberated souls, to find a devotee of Krishna is also. If that is very difficult. Can you remember all this, Lalita? It's very easy. How many souls? Countless. Soul that is 
saw one ten thousand size took up a head. All souls have accepted material bodies. A micro crab, sabaka, human being. Eight million four hundred thousand different species. So live in this, the different species, two divisions. Moving, no moving. Moving division, two. Division. Human, non-human. Human division also, two division. Uncivilized. Therefore, even Buddhists are called uncivilized. Because they not accept the Vedic teachings. So, uncivilized and Veda Nishta. Who follow, believe on Veda, follow. Veda Nishta also many two divisions. Those who follow something and those who don't follow anything. <laughs> Only by now, I am Hindu. I am Brahman, I am So the Veda Nishta, <coughs> also two divisions. <laughs> with material desire, those with no material desire. <laughs> those with no material desire are called Gyanis. <laughs> Gyanis, two divisions. Those who want liberation and those who have liberation. Among those who have liberation, to find even one devotee of Krishna is very rare. Okay, can you remember that, Lalita? It's quite easy. Mahaprabhu is very simple. Like baby. Baby, mother feed baby one spoon at a time. So mother feeding is like that, one spoon. Okay, Krishna Bhakta Niskarma Taiva Shanta Pukti Mukti Siddhi Kaiva Sakala Shanta. What is the symptom of a devotee of Krishna? They're always peaceful. Niskam. No desire. May they this world or the next world. Wherever they are, they're happy because serving Krishna. But the Bhukti Mukti Siddhi Karmi is Sakla Shant. But everyone else is not peaceful. <coughs> Bhukti Mukti Siddhi Karmi, four types of person. Bhukti who want enjoyment. Always restless. I want, I want, I want, I want. So they are never peaceful. If mind and sense is not in control, how you can be peaceful? Those who want liberation also not peaceful. I want, I want, I want. Those who want yogic perfections, they call the cities. They are also not satisfied. And the karmis who want to go to heavenly planets are also not peaceful. Only the devotee of Krishna is peaceful because he has no desire. Someone may say, no, he desired to serve Krishna, so this is also a desire. Then what answer you give? Krishna Maharaj. No, because they want to serve Krishna for Krishna's happiness. So for that reason it's not called a desire. Lolita, you missed everything. Hare Krishna. So, Muktinam Apisidanam Narayana Parana Sindulaba Prashadatma Kontesh Api Mahamuni, famous verse of Bhagavatam. 
out of many liberated and perfect souls to find even one devotee of Lord Krishna is very rare. So Dunaba Prashantatma, very hard to find. Prashantatma, always happy. Like you see Gurudev, always happy. No problem. Koteshapi Mahamuni. Okay. So, do not be, people say, sektant, sektant. Sektant means actually very small. In English, sektant means very small. 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 Sektant means very the curse of the microphone. <laughs> yes. Bepu Bramande, Brahmatikon, Bhagavanaji, Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai, Bhakti Lada Beach. To the living entity, he is moving in the universe. But Brahmite means to move. Brahmanda, Brahmite, Kona, Bhagavana Jeev. So we are constantly moving up and down. Right, Sita? This life you're a girl. In Kemarova. Next life, what would you be? Down. Okay, so the soul is always moving like that. Kabuduki, Kabusuki, sometimes happy. Ah. Sometimes sad. Right? sometimes master, sometimes slave. Sometimes a worm in stool. Sometimes king in heaven. Kabu Deva, Kabu Daita, sometimes demons, sometimes demigod. Sometimes, anyway, he's constantly moving. Different species, different situations. Why? Elena? Remember the first night's class? Why the soul entered material existence? Like a person haunted by a ghost thinks there's someone else. They call, they call schizophrenia. No? But many people believe this is ghost, ghost. Is there a madhouse in Kemerova? Definitely you must have been there. No? Have you been there? I bet you if you go, there's at least five Napoleon Bonapartes. No? <laughs> Two or three Adolf Hitlers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Four or five Mussolinis. <laughs> Two or three Justin Bieber's. <laughs> Cleopatra's. <laughs> when someone thinks there's something else, that person is called mad. So we are like that. Haunted by the ghost of illusion. We forget our spiritual identity. And think, I am Russian, I am Chinese, I am woman, I am doctor, lawyer. Okay. 
dog, cats, oh, fish. Yeah. So this is called Brahmanda Brahmata Kona, moving in the cycle. Had enough on a dini? Well, you understand the cycle of birth. There's a boat taking people across. And then he got in the boat and now she's jumping back out. Okay, don't run. Where are you running to? But Bhagavanji, but fortunate soul meets Guru. And can hear this tattva from them. No? So that is Guru, Krishna, Prasadi, Pai, Bhakti, and by the mercy of Guru and Krishna, they get the seed of devotion. Guru Maharaj explained why Krishna's mercy is first. Because without the mercy of devotee, we don't know who is Krishna. Without the mercy of devotee, we cannot know who is Krishna. So who brings us to the devotee? Who arranged this? Ilana? Krishna arranged. He also in the heart as the super soul. He also giving advice. He arranging everything. What chance came over at the end of the world to meet the Vaishnav? That is very rare. The forgotten outpost. So, Krishna's mercy must be there. Why also Krishna made us? Without Krishna making us, without Krishna making the living entities, we would not exist. If we did not exist, we could not serve him. So it's Krishna's mercy is first. Because we cannot know who is God, Krishna arranges for us to meet the devotees. Krishna's mercy first, then Guru's mercy. Because hearing from Guru, one gets the seed of devotion. Okay. All souls have a tendency to serve Krishna. Remember the second night's class? Elena? Like a seed? Need some water? Okay. So when that seed sprouts, that is called the seed of devotion. Okay. Guru Maharaj says the desire to serve Krishna, that is called the seed of devotion. Hearing about Krishna, yes, I also want to serve. Still chanting on a living? Going to program sometimes? Why not? Because this day when the program starts, then this day I have no choice. But other days? Every week devotees have meetings, right? Yes, she's saying that. Day when the then change. Okay, so this feeling, I will serve Krishna, that will come in the heart by hearing. <coughs> but many people hear, but they go, after one class, this is very boring, I will never come again. What a terrible philosophy. I am not the body. I am not the enjoyer. What is this rubbish? They have good fortune to hear, but they have no good fortune to catch. So very rare. Very rare. Someone can come, someone can meet, the Vaishnava is rare, 
And someone can understand what they're giving that is more rare also. Why? Because they want to have so many other desires. So very good fortune when we met, meet the devotees and hear from them. That is very good fortune. Katyani, what are you doing? Come and sit here. Very so, Upujay Baralata Brahmande Beriyai Biraj Brahman Lok Beri Parat Yoman. So, when this water in the form of hearing instructions of the devotees that caused the seed of the soul to sprout. That sprout is called faith. Okay, I will follow this process. I will start to chant. Chanting alone now? Everyone is chanting but you are? Try and chant loud. So that one shraddha. Shraddha means I will follow this process. Then comes the second. How do I follow? What do I do? Then associates with the devotees. Then, what's it called? Bhajana Kriya. Hearing, hearing, I must do. I will do also. Offer your food and underneath. Okay, some hope is there. This is service to Krishna. Offering food to Krishna. Chanting holy names. Hearing about him more. Thinking about him. No, the nine ways of serving Krishna. There's a book there. Nine rooms of bhakti. Everyone has that? Ilona, did you take it? If you get a chance, is it there outside? You can take. Nine ways to serve Krishna. So this is called bhajana kriya. I will also do like that. Yes. I will also hear, chant, remember, offer prayers. So he means bhajana kriya. Kriya means action, activity. So he begins the activities of devotion. Bhaj means to serve. So bhajana kriya. He begins the kriya, the activities of devotion. And as he performs the activities of devotion, all unwanted things gradually leave. Automatically stops meat eating. Smoking ganja. Tobacco. He gives up all bad habits. It's called anatana vritti. The cessation of unwanted tendencies. He becomes steady in devotion. <coughs> then he develops taste. Ruchi. Asakti, attachment to Krishna. Bhav Bhakti. And finally, pure devotion. So, the, for that reason, the cre this has been called the creeper of devotion. Okay, Lona? Got the seed? Got the water? Hearing? Therefore, Lalita, what will happen if you don't hear? Like you have a sprout, Rostock, I remember Rostock. But no water? What happens to the Rostock? Sumoga? It dies. Even after one develops a desire to serve Krishna, he doesn't continue to hear then his Rostock will finish. Даже 
You see, those who don't come every week for hearing something, they become weak. Krishna Murari comes every week, right? <coughs> Men are always strong, you see, many <coughs> years <coughs> practicing. No girlfriends, right? <coughs> no chicken? <laughs> no vodka? <laughs> because it's strong, because I was hearing something. We cannot underestimate the power of hearing. <coughs> Those who do not hear, like Kapiani, Krishna, all these guys. And Rostock becomes So, the creeper of devotion, for that reason. First two loose leaves come, then four leaves come, then six leaves. First stage, sadhana bhakti. We force he engage his senses in the service of Krishna. Then bhav bhakti. Means bhakti manifests on the senses. The material body becomes tadatmic with bhakti devi. Like you put iron into fire. Iron becomes like fire. In the state of Bhav Bhakti, the senses become Tadatmik with Bhakti Devi. Okay, and Prema Bhakti. So, the creeper goes up. Okay, Brahman Upuja Barilata Brahman de Beriyari. So, Mahaprabhu gives an example. Now we chant, but still we have many desires, many plans. That means the creeper of devotion is still in this world. I want heavenly planets, I want enjoyment, I want liberation, I want this. But chanting, chanting, the creeper of devotion pierces the universe. That time takes shelter of Golok Vrindavan. That time no more material desires. That time only spiritual desires. Then takes shelter of Krishna directly. Four fruits. Dasya Satya Bhatsari Madhuri. Four moods to serve Krishna. Servant mood. Parental mood. Krishna is my son. Friend mood. Krishna is my druga. And beloved mood. Krishna is my beloved. All fruits. Yadi Vaishnava Paraduti Hati Mata Udpadya Chinya Sukhaya Pata, but always have to be careful of Vaishnava Parad. Right. The devotee is called Vaishnava. Who brought you here, Elena? Elena, who was you that you But anyway, devotee arranged the program, right? Who hired the hall? Who cooked the prasad? The devotee makes so many arrangements for this, no? Who printed the books? Who gave the lecture? That is devotees, right? So without devotees, you would never have gotten a chance to hear anything. Okay, so by mercy of Vaishnava, by mercy of devotee, we also can become devotee. So if we become opposed to the devotees, criticize them, blaspheme them, beat them, become angry, no, then your devotion will be destroyed. Understand? Sit down. Okay, be careful. 
So if one makes offense to devotees, then his devotion will be destroyed. Okay, so don't always be very careful. Even they have some bad behavior with us still, we should always be very humble. Six offenses to devotees. Hunting, crashing, and then nothing. To be the devotee. To be envious of them. To speak false things about them. To see them and not become happy. To not welcome or devotee. To be angry against the devotee. These six things are the cause of fall down. So the heart is like a garden, Elena. Now we have many, many weeds. Many desires. So those weeds taken out. By hearing about Krishna, then you realize, but I'm doing many bad things, I have to stop. No, Shakti, what are doing secretly that no one knows? Anyway, many bad habits. <coughs> many misconceptions. Many other desires. These are like weeds. <coughs> so by practicing spiritual life, these weeds will be taken out. Right. Then you get the seed of devotion. So keep it careful. One should constantly water the seed. But always hearing and speaking about Krishna. Okay, that, and that creeper goes up. Should be careful no other weeds come. Duplicious behavior. Violence to the living entities. Kutinati, to, no, by cheating. Weakness of heart. Sometimes these weeds come again. Desire to be respected, desire to be worshipped. Don't you know who I am? Ivan Kristipi. Great devotee. Most senior in Kemerova. Because of me, all this is going on. Respect me. Bhagavatam says, mercy of devotee, you get bhakti. Ya devotee. So this pride comes. This is also, these are all like weeds. So the, imagine the farmer has to work hard. Water the seed. Take out the weeds. He make a fence. Good association. Why my shakti is not developing? Why? So many materialistic friends. Right. Come on. Of course. All these friends are there, therefore you have no time for devotional practice. Why are you never coming to the meeting? Because I have my job on Saturday. What's your work? On Saturday. What do you teach? Oh, that's right. You told me. Okay, anyway, be careful. Don't make friends with a materialistic person. No, they will always discourage you from practicing bhakti.
Okay, why don't you change the programs or something? Saturday no one coming, change to Sunday maybe. Изменить день пробудения программы. Если в субботу никто не приходит, то изменить день. Вы по субботам учите детей, если нет? На Сатурдей. На Сатурдей. 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 Но uh, приходит uh, дикий слон, слон second, fence, и за одну секунду он может сломать ваше ограждение и растоптать ваш росток. So this is to так вот этот слон — это оскорбление преданных. Мы очень много раз такое уже видели. Proud, Если кто-то возгордился, начинает критиковать, и находит недостатки в преданных. И начинает падать. Гуру Махарадж рассказывал историю. Был один преданный в его храме. И он стал очень гордым. Каждый день распевая 64 круга. Я только один раз в день. В Икадыше ничего не ем, не пьет. Even in winter, he would go three o'clock in the morning to take bath in Yamuna and come back with cloth wet. First to wake up. Last to go to sleep. And he became proud. Oh, only I am doing devotion. Everyone else just eating and sleeping. Only I am devotion. So proud, pride came. Eh? So he began criticizing everyone. Then he thought, no one here is devotee. So he left the temple. He thought, oh, scriptures say the residents of Vrindavan are very So he started giving free rickshaw rides. You know the story? Know the story. Guru Maharaj said we'd see him choo, choo, on his new rickshaw giving free taxi rides to the locals. Then after some time he also began seeing faults in all the residents of the town. So he left. He went to Jagannath Puri. No, he thought that is the place of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Guru Maharaj said, last time we saw him, what was he doing? He had two wives. No? And what was he doing? When the fishermen would catch the fish, the little sardines would go under the sand. He would collect them and dry them in the sun. And he would make a paste and eat that with his rice. So always be very careful. So, Sometimes like on tomato plant, Some side branches come. Have you seen? Приходят такие отростки со слюнного стебля. All Russians have dashi. У всех русских есть дачи, так? Olga, you grow tomatoes in summer? Olga, вы растите помидоры летом? You are helping, right? Но вы же помогаете, так? Bad daughter. Today you see tomato plants. This year we got grew my first tomatoes. Very exciting. But when tomato came, it was tough for us. There was one tomato I remember. It was green. 
I know it's plain. Please, please buy one. Please make it red before it's a month to do. <laughs> Just one tomato, please. <laughs> no, it's still hard. <laughs> so, this side branch comes. If you don't cut, it cannot go high. So sometimes we see devotees, their devotion going, but then it deviates. I mean, they go some other direction. So Kinti Yari Lata Sangha Ate Upasaka wants to be very careful to always prune the creeper of devotion. And when you water the tomato plant, some weeds come. Sometimes those weeds look like tomato plants. So sometimes in devotees, you know, they're chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, they're watering, but instead of watering the original creeper of devotion, they water the weeds. Иногда, когда человек успевает Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна, тем самым поливает свой росток преданности. Но выходят какие-то вещи, которые похожи на Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no one looking? <laughs> Having some. Anyway, this is the child, forbidden behavior. <laughs> no, outside making some show, but inside doing some other <laughs> Kutinati. <laughs> like diplomacy, politics. <laughs> Jeev Hingsana. Now we should always be very simple. Always very simple. That is devotion. Jeev Hingsana. Violence to the Jeevas. Okay. To not preach. To, if you meet someone and don't speak about Krishna, there's also one type of violence to the Jeevas. Because you're not giving him a chance to hear about Krishna, this is violence. Love, so much coming. How many, how many bottles of smitana we have now? How much honey we have? Okay, only two. I thought we had 50. So everyone giving, no? Then we all... So some people think this is devotion. After this lecture, I got 500 ruble donation. This is Krishna's grace. Understand? You start collecting things and forgetting about bhakti. So many people are respecting me now. This also one, you become absorbed in that, collecting followers. Collecting respect. It's also like weeds. Look like devotion, but not devotion. So one should also be careful. If one should always stay with devotees who are more senior than us, who are more advanced than us. They will point out our faults. No, like we just sometimes this bad behavior sucking away the water. Then real devotion not increasing, just the weeds increasing. Pratame upasake kore chedan tabmul sakabori yaye brindaban. Intelligent devotees should immediately cut down these branches when they come. Okay, Kandyani? 
You don't know what's going on, but you know what's going on. <laughs> so any weeds, be very careful. Throw them straw. Okay. So prim fal pakipar mali asvadaya. Then gradually continues, he gets the fruit of pure devotion. И постепенно, продолжая все это делать, он обретает плод преданности. Okay, then he gets the direct association of Krishna. Он обретает непосредственно прямое общение с Кришной. That fruit is very sweet. Этот плод очень сладок. The fruit of prem. Это плод према. Okay, people want to practice pure devotion. Поэтому человек должен практиковать чистую преданность. Devoid of other desires. Которая, в которой не присутствует Anivancha Ani Puja Chari Gyan Karm Anukulya Savindre Krishna Anu Shilam should give up other desires apart from Krishna's service. One should give up worshipping others. Especially demigods. Anything apart from Krishna. One should give up the separate endeavor for knowledge. And materialistic activities. And he can reach the goal of pure devotion. Okay, go Premamandi. Okay, one should be careful. I think for two years no one came to the Vrindavan from Kemarova. Except her. What's going on? One, two, used to come so much. And then did he, what happened? He evaporated. What? What happened to him? Katyani not came a while. Nani Bobi. Prisoner of war. Yeah. Okay. Still, that was a long time ago. Krishna, why not coming? Krishna, why not coming? You don't have any more? Okay. You have some business in India, I feel. I have a conference. Yeah. I will wait to Absorbed in baby loka. <laughs> Why not come in? Yeah? Bhushan, what can I say? <laughs> also try to come. <laughs> Is it not good many years not coming? <laughs> then you gradually dry. Okay. Any questions from the people? <laughs> Okay, tomorrow Nikhila will take Haridam. Anyone else who wants to take Haridam? Who will not disappear? They can also come. Come and ask, come and talk. Please, Krishna Murray, one more time. She always jumps so much, it's quite funny. See you later.